This vial is pretty unique. It's a 3D sculpture of Virgil Abloh. Fashion designer created the label Off-White. Thinned out my paint a little so I can get a nice gradient. The color is inspired by a real life sculpture of him. It's printed with a heat resistant rigid resin. Recently I made videos demystifying how resin 3D printers work. In this video we're going to go over the slicing process. We want clean details and minimal preparation after the print is done. In the last slicing video I recommended the basic which is free and it works really fast. I used to make a lot of tutorials for lychee slicer. People recommended I switch over the Chi2 box. I paid for it, made videos about it, and then Chi2 box reached out. So I am going to put sponsored on the bottom of this video. The free version is still super fantastic. It has all the basics. They gave me early access to the Chi2 box pro. If you can afford it, paid stuff has a lot more options. Let's add a new machine. It has all the latest Elegoo printers like the Mars 5 Ultra. But lately I've been using the Saturn 4 Ultra most. When you choose the printers, the settings pop up right away. Go ahead and copy my adjustments. For the regular exposure time, I changed from 2.5 to 3 seconds. Hit apply. Or this is Resin's Alliance. It's an alliance of a bunch of different resins. Water washable is what I use the most, mainly because it's inexpensive. We can collect the settings and they end up in our collection. I like that it has pictures. Let's drop in a file. This is the Louis Vuitton canvas thing. First thing I'll do is always hit repair, basic repair. That's really fast how it's repairing. By the way, I'm running an M1 Mac mini with 16 gigabytes of RAM. Ever since I started resin printing, I always use auto orientate. Maybe because I'm lazy. Next is supports. If you're really savvy with this stuff, you got a whole bunch of options here. In most program, it's a 0.4 tip, change it to 0.38, and then click auto add support. In real time, look how fast the supports generate. They're evenly spaced and I'm quite impressed, but I always have a habit of adding just a little bit more supports. I'll scrub up and down the model to make sure the supports got everything. Accuracy is set to the middle. Even for tiny things, I'll use the same supports. I'll use a razor blade for the tiny supports. Go back to prepare and slicer files and put it on the USB drive or send it over Wi-Fi. And from the Cheetah Box slicer, you can access the AI camera. Maybe next time when you're thinking about upgrading your slicer for resin printing, use my discount code for 50% off, which is Michael Wong, my name. I most appreciate that they're always updating the software.